date with Death Club is not a grief group or a bereavement group, right? There, are, those are special sacred places. But my guess is that most of us, all of us, are carrying different loads of grief, different sizes, shapes, weights. Some smooth, some jagged, still hurting us. Um, and so, while it's not a grief group or a bereavement group, there will be grief in the room. And I just want to acknowledge that. I am sitting at the edge of Lake Michigan. I'm in Chicago. I'm visiting my mother who has dementia. I haven't seen her for 19 months because of the pandemic. So I'm full of lots of feelings right now. Yesterday we had a really good visit together. Um, just now she was more withdrawn and upset. And so it was very short. She's really good at letting us know what her limits are and asking for a visit to end. And it's hard. It's I mean, it's right to honor that and it's hard. We've had news of a death in the family that I'm still very much processing. So I just wanted to come down and be by this lake. It's really close to where my mother lives. And we used to bring her here in her wheelchair. It's like a block and a half away. But leave, even living the building, even leaving her floor makes her too anxious. So I don't think she's going to be coming to visit this lake, which reminded her so much of the ocean, which is where I grew up. It's the ocean. It's, the, the waves lap. There are seagulls here. There's a horizon. So it was always just really soothing to be here with her. So there's the big death, the one that's connected to our mortality, and there are these little deaths, little losses often unacknowledged, what we would call disenfranchised losses, or bring about disenfranchised grief, harder to recognize in ourselves sometimes, but often to be recognized publicly or in community. Losses like what COVID brought, and then there's this really sort of singular loss that dementia brings, a death before death, some call it. So I'm here and I'm um, seeking solace.